Well, here we are. I just played all of Octo Expansion and then all of the Splatoon 3 story, and here I am finally caught up with the rest of everybody because Side Order is among us here now. So, as I enter Side Order, I kind of want to talk you through what I just did. Like I say, I've been doing 90 minute edits. These 90 minute edits. Oh, well th oh this is weird. Um, these 90 minute edits are all in playlists, all organized, and ready to go. All right, what do we got here? Are we already introducing dead fish? Here's the bleached coral. And there's the tower. And this series that you are watching right now, that tower in this series is all there is. Like Hades, I'm going, yo, eight, wait, 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 eight. We're bringing Agent 8 back. Hey, we're bringing Agent 8 back. Okay, I knew that from the trailer it was an Octoling, but I didn't know that it was going to be Agent 8. Okay, if it's Agent 8, I'm going to go with the exact look that I had for Agent 8 when I played Octo Expansion literally a couple months ago. So that is going to look like this with the ponytail. I think, yeah, I think this is about the color I went. And as much as I appreciate all the hairstyles, that was the eight that I went with. And uh, I got to check. Hold on. I got to check the eye color. Let me see here. I was pretty sure that it was the purple eyes, but I had to double check. Let me get a closer look. Uh, I think I, yeah, I just went with the, the regular. I went with the regular. I didn't spend too much time on that. All right. Now that's the eight. I know if this is Agent 8, then this is the exact version of Agent 8 that I played in Octo Expansion. I did not realize it was going to be Agent 8. Maybe it's because I saw the side order trailer before I finished Octo Expansion. I didn't even know. If you hadn't come around, I didn't have a plan B. 8, you are always doing the heavy lifting. What's up? I got something on my face? Oh, right. You wouldn't recognize me like this. I'm Pearl. You know, your bestie. No, for serious, I'm legit Pearl. Uh, Agent 8 probably doesn't trust anything easily. Not sure how I got this way, but here I am. Not sure where Marina went either. She's supposed to be with me. 8, don't tell me you don't remember Marina either. It's cool, you just woke up. Might as well take some time to clear your head. That's regular me on the left, okay? And the one on the right is Marina. You got any idea where we should go from here? Marina's usually around to help me with that. Oh, duh. We should go find Marina. She'll know what to do. Come on, 8. Let's get going. Agent freaking 8. Dude, I am back. It has been a while. By a while, I mean it's been a couple months. Now, uh... Oh, man, dude. Covered in snow, bleached, everything's white and colorless and faded. I mean, I saw it from the trailer, but I just, it, you know what, I'm finally here. Because when I first looked at Octo Expansion, or I should say, when I look, first looked at Side Order, I was like, man, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to do Octo, I'm going to do Splatoon 3 story. It took me a few months, and here we are. So that's pretty much my proper intro is uh Inkopolis square uh oh, i was gonna say oh no not the lockers again i'm just kidding i had a really good experience with those lockers pearl marina you up there help me click hang on we're coming up to you now shake a leg eight marina's at the top of the tower all right so that's basically my intro is uh you guys if you've seen the work that i did uh, with these super edits, I've been editing pretty hard to make these all encompassing so that these entire playthroughs are only like five episodes long. And I make sure everything is labeled really well. The reason that's important to me too is that you can skip to wherever you want to. Everything is concise. So, and that said, I also, I'm, I'm curious, this is where the Octo Expansion would be. It's just coral now. And an invisible wall. Nothing better in games than invisible walls to direct you where to go. I don't spend too much time. Oh, yeah. Where's Grizz? Grizz. Yeah, I was going to say Grizz is there. But I was curious if Grizzco Industries closed up or not. 
I cut out the loading screens and I cut out a lot of the fluff, so you can count on not having a lot of dead time. Is this for real? Wherever we are, it's nothing like Inkopolis Square. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Keep your eyes open. Heads up, eight. Oh, now that's the kind of stuff I like. Toxic black-looking ink, dude. That's threatening. Oh, dude, eight is so done with everything. She's just like, do you have any idea what I've been through? Oh, Dooley's check it out. All right, I was gonna say, uh, Dooley's looking good on Agent Eight. And uh, what was, yeah, Agent Eight just had a hero shot before. You know what I really want though is uh, Agent Three. Oh, that was a weird the way the damage is showing up. Um, I really never did get a chance to get the carbon fiber look that Agent Three had. You gotta also wonder what number one, what's Eight been up to? And number two, I'm curious, does eight like hang out with three, the original Agent Three captain? Does eight there are eight and three in contact? Where did I get that weapon from? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Just felt like something I had in me, you know. Do you have like a trizuka in you? But never mind that. The elevator's running again. We can sit and scratch our heads all we want, but why bother when the answers are up there? Let's get moving, eight. Eight, you are, you, do you realize that you spent the entire DLC for two climbing up to get to the surface? And now you're going to spend another DLC climbing up a tower? You do a lot of climbing. Dead fish, what's going on? You with those, fi oh, sick them eight. I didn't get to see you, uh, <laughs> cool it. I'm not your enemy. I didn't get to see what she said. Just another bystander who got sucked in. I take it you two followed Marina's voice here. Say what? You know Marina too? Alright, well, in we go. The, stain the brushed stainless steel is looking good. First things first, I'm act. As for Marina and me, we go way back. For real? Yo, lead with that next time. I'm Pearl, and this is Eight. Cool meeting you, Act. I've been in the area since I came, too. I heard Marina's voice from up the spire, so I came to find her. But those bony fish found me first. I call them gelatins. That's why I'm trapped in an elevator. The spire is crammed with those gelatins. This wound they gave me hasn't healed, so I'm stuck. You can't regenerate? That's weird. Things aren't looking super good for the home team, huh? Don't count us out yet. I've been waiting for an octoline with a drone. Said your name was Eight. You're the one I needed to see. Okay, Pearl. Now check out what happens when you set this color chip into your palette. Palette? I'm supposed to do... or know what to do? Oh, you're talking about this thing? You got it. Now set the color chip into it. There, we're uh, <laughs> we're really skipping. Like we're like, you know what? We don't really need backstory on any of this stuff. You just sort of have it. Okay, whatever happens is on you. Here goes nothing. Eight, slap that chip in here. Do you have any idea how much I asked for customizable ink? Oh, I'm so happy that I finally got it. Whoa, is it me or did your weapon get stronger? If you set a whole bunch of color chips in here, you could walk all over those fishy freaks. No doubt. Play your chips right, and you could make it all the way to the top. Whatever's going on in this city, Marina's in the in the thick of it. So or so, I'm assuming. But this injury has left me sidelined. Our strike team will be limited to you two. We're on it, Act. Deep breaths, Eight. It's time to go find Marina. All right, hit the button for the top floor. Love to, but this elevator only goes up one floor at a time. How come? You mean I gotta be patient? I'm in a hurry myself, but we we play what we're dealt. We'll have to take this a little bit at a time. Now then, we're almost at the next floor. Are you two ready? To an extent, I see how... I was gonna say, I, I, okay, I don't know how many floors it is, but I know it's not like crazy amounts. 
We're up to what uh, first floor. I know it's not like the amount of floors Hades has, <laughs> or rooms, I should say. Each floor has an objective you need to clear. Take care of that, and you can go up another floor. Your objective here is to destroy that dark fish portal. Also, the thing you set in your color palette is a main damage distant color chip. Now that you're all set, let's do it. There's a practice target right there. See for yourself. So I was doing 250s. All right, well, that's why it shows it. You want to you wanna science it out or jump right into the mix? All right, we're doing 312s now, huh? Look at this. That cage will take you across. Maybe I'm just so damn good that I'm going to walk over this and finish the DLC on the first shot. Ding. Let's do it. I can fly. No way. I love it. All right, we got little jellies. And the further away that I can shoot them, the better. Okay. Uh, my path is clear. Do, oh, do I take damage from walking into the ink, by the way? I got to test this out. Yes, I do. Simply walking into the ink actually damages me. I could see why maybe it would almost be better to stream this, but first floor cleared. At least I'll do this attempt in this video. I'll do this on on a recording because I've recorded the whole series so I'm just kind of staying consistent with it and I'll let you guys know if I change my mind I knew eight had it in the bag yeah that was solid work you're learning to make the most of your color chips there are different kinds of color chips you get one every time you head to a new floor here I'll show you poison ink what you're seeing is the next floor and details on the color chip you'll get that color chip is poison ink I'd tell you what it does, but it's written there already. Increased damage uh, enemies take when they're on your ink. 100 to 400. Okay, well, the fact that they take damage on my ink in the first place is good. It's cool. No teacher-like experience. Am I right, 8? All right, so let me see here. This is the palette. And common tones, okay. And then I have 10. Oh, go to this floor. Okay, I thought I was trying to purchase it or something, like ration my goods. Second floor, home turf. Let's do it. I count three portals this time. Same drill as before, right? No probs. All right. Poison ink is a uh, color chip is nice. Says here enemies take more damage while they're in your ink. Man, they take way more than when I actually... Well, I guess it was it was written there, right? It said 400. All right. Moving right along. All right, so I was going to say, if I, uh, if I do this, it was like a little booyah bomb. So it would be better for me to just blow this up and then there nice oh it's a checkpoint too how do i i didn't think i would get checkpoints well i guess no yeah i was gonna say i guess it'd be like hades right checkpoints are simply a way that you can uh ensure that you have something to go back to if you step away from the game nice one more to go You got ink. Oh, I have a reef slider, dude. Check it out. Get him in position. Let's reef slide. Nice. They actually don't take uh, full damage from that, ironically. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, instead of uh, doing that, I should probably just destroy them so I can get these crates. Oh, the crates are just more ink. All right, never mind. My bad. There's a piano in the back. Well, I guess I, I was going to say if I'm going to take a tour of the battlefield, I should have done that a little bit ago. All right, so we have a more neutral music level as well. The tone of our music is not as uh, pop related. You two are handling this like pros. Maybe you do have what it takes to reach the top. I was going to ask about that. How come you know so much about this place, Act? Fair question. Everything I'm telling you, I'm pulling from the elevator console. 
I learned that trick from the same place Marina did. Though, I won't blame you for being skeptical. For real? I guess it's true that Marina's a turbo nerd when it comes to these machines. If you went to the same school, I'm not surprised you can do the same stuff. Well, she was a few ranks above me. I wouldn't put myself quite in her league. By the way, here's your next color chip. Lucky bomb drop. Increases the chances of enemies dropping lucky bombs. Lucky bombs explode the closest enemy to the farthest. Alright, let's keep going. I was, I w <laughs> I'm always wishing a bomb would show up to blow away anybody that was harassing me. All right, let's do it. Still don't get it. She said that uh, her name was Act, except there's a tricycle. Interesting. Hey, you said lucky bombs explode on their own. Isn't that kind of uh, dangerous for eight? Nah, it shouldn't hurt either of you. Just them. Why? You worried? Hey, I believe in eight. Just asking questions, you know. If you say it's safe, then bombs away. Huh? What's that thing? Looks like a can special. Grabbing one will fill half your special gauge. Use specials. Oh, did I was going to say, um, did my reef slider? I am so glad they gave me the reef slider. All right, so the logical conclusion then is ride this out. Hop off here. Grab myself a special and let's begin. Check it out. Oh, I thought I had it. Oops. I thought I had my reef slider already. I didn't realize it didn't fill up all the way. That was a foolish move by me. All right, so I don't want to use my special yet because there's a canned special right there. So There we go. There's one. A lot of enemies on this floor. Wait, where'd my canned special go? Well, now I feel uh, gypped. They they ha they had me man they had me I've been had I've been fooled All right well I guess uh no time better than the present That's the only thing I'd be concerned about is I'm not 100% sure if the reef slider is an insta kill for them It doesn't exactly seem like it was uh perfect on that first round Almost in the bag all right, so lay out the ink, and then uh, my favorite thing in the world, poison ink, which you're not getting hurt by. So what was the point of poison ink again? Because you uh, you guys don't get hurt by it. Oh, I guess the big ones do. So yeah, I can just let them do their thing. All right, on I go. Ow, that was uh, that was a foolish move. And that's three floors clear. I wonder how many there are. Oh, wait, I can check the special surprise floor. Four, five, six. I just lost count. That was stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18, 27, 36 floors. All right, good to go. I've got the lowdown on the next floor for you. Ink saver. You get two chips for this one. Well, then never mind. I guess I don't have to worry about how many floors there are. Mem bucks you get from clearing the floor. Not sure what those are for yet, but they seem like a good thing to have. Well, if you say so, table that for now, I guess. Eight, when you need a break from climbing the tower, press plus to let me know. I'll stop the elevator and we can wait till you're ready. No sense pushing yourself past your limits. Pause. So yeah, that's probably a good way to just be like, hey, I want to go play some turf war in the regular game, uh, but I don't want to lose my floor in the uh, side order. I thought her name was Deadfish, by the way. It's got to be. It's just like her uh, her musician's name, I bet. All right, let's do this. What gives? I'm not seeing any portals. Different objective. This time you need to ink that zone and guard it until the time's up. Oh, kind of like splat zones. Yep, but I don't see a way to get to the high ground with the zone. That wall looks ink proof. Probably need to glide from somewhere high. That's where I come in. Eight, if you want to slow the fall, press B in midair while you hang on to me. You can move while hanging on, on to, a land, to land a good distance away. 
All right, let's do it. All right, so first we'll ride all the way to the top. I wonder if we're going to see any more of those. Ah, uh... oh, crap. Oh, okay. I guess that works. I was going to say, I wonder if we're going to see any more of those freaking uh, eight balls. The eight balls were pretty funny. I also believe that most people didn't exactly enjoy those eight balls. I did, but I guess it wasn't exactly a common sentiment. All right. Not bad. The only problem is, of course, they fly, so there's no reason to ink anything. I wonder what color chip do you think gets me new items? Or, uh, I mean, not new items, uh, new weapons. Also, nobody from behind good. Just double checking. Oh, a curling bomb? That doesn't, me, doesn't do me any good. And floor cleared. I don't get uh, test passed. I'm going to miss that. The old days of test passed. Oh, yeah, we're on a roll. You know, this drone's body is not so bad if it means 8 doesn't have to do all the work. That's true. I had to do everything in the last one. Um, I could hack through stages, but I'm guessing that's not a, not a thing this time. This next color chip will be helpful with that, too. Use it right, and you'll be a powerful ally to 8. Drone killer whale. Now we're talking. It lets me use killer whale. Now we're talking. Exactly. It's your signature. All right. Let's do it. Hard to believe I'm still in the tutorial phase. Fifth floor. Springing floor. New floor. Time to bust out the old killer whale. Uh, more like killer fail. Pearl, you can't use your drone features until the drone gauge is full. No kidding? Fine. Guess the drone gauges fill on their own after a while. Once it's full, look out, world. Actually, you don't even need to wait. Pick up that drone battery, and it fills its some um, of the gauge. Nice. Now then, your objective here is to get that turbine tower. Okay. A turbine tower, huh? What's the fastest way to make that happen? Shoot it? Escort the turbine tower. Okay, let's go. Just like Octo Expansion, not everything is linear. Alright, let's do it. All right, so first we're going to grab that and then, okay, I see it. As long as it doesn't go backwards, usually the, I was going to say, usually these things go backwards, but not this one. All right, so I think our, do you go backwards? You do go backwards. Of course you go backwards. You hit a checkpoint. The turbine moves slower through there. All right, well, perfect. All right, now I've got to get up, which I can't. Breaking through a checkpoint causes a shockwave. Now we know. All right, well, as long as it, it does go backwards, I don't know how to get up there, so I guess we're going to shoot and find out. You're past the checkpoint. You're at checkpoint three. Eyes up eight. There's some weird bouncy things. Uh, I'm not sure how to wh what I'm supposed to do. Whoa, check out the air from that jump. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was confused at first. I'm like, what am I missing here? Oh, hi. You get splashdowns. Everybody cool gets splashdowns, man. All right. Well, spin the turbine and uh, checkpoint three. And this is going to feel very satisfying, so enjoy that. There we go. The music is definitely very, uh, I would say, obscure is the word. Floor cleared. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? As test passed. All right. Moving right along. We're about at the halfway point. I can't believe this is all going down in the middle of our big world tour. On tour, are you? That tracks. You're some kind of musician, I take it? Yeah, Marina and I are off the hook. The world's most powerful power team. So Marina hit it big as an artist, did she? Uh-oh. Elimination. Marina, hang on, girl. We're on our way. 
I did not like the sound of that. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, good call. All right, so instead of cuttlefish, we've got the rescue marina. Just like Kelly. All right, let's do it. Main range. All right. My only question is, I'm assuming, like, when I... F oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm almost wondering. I just saw that. I wonder if this is all just a giant tutorial. Hold up. There are two splat zones this time? You'll just have to secure them both. Ah, disc pieces for the drone way back there. Put three of them together, and you can give the enemy a taste of a step-off zone. I don't know what that does, but I like the sound of it. Snag it if we can, eight. We've got two main range chips this time. That ought to help us out. So I was going to say is if I start back from zero, am I truly starting back from zero or am I getting permanent gains? Then again, I'm like I say, I'm treating this like Hades. All right, hop off right about there. Uh-oh. All right, so we're going to grab that first. We're going to grab that first. Or second, we're going to do that. And now let's do the splat zones. Very cool. Whatever you did sent everything around you flying. Uh, okay. Portal's not looking too good either. All right. So nothing can spawn while the por portal is jammed. Nice. Probably, I don't know if it's a good thing that I did that or not, honestly. I mean, I, I got a lot of things inked here, so. Oh, check it out. 35 ticks left. You guys don't have a unit of time measurement. Got you. Got some fish. All right. Got to watch out. I forgot this ink hurts me. Oh, it's you. I was like, where did, where was that? I didn't even see him. He got past me. He slithered along and I didn't see him. All right. I'm suspecting this is actually all straight up a tutorial. We're on fire. Let's keep it moving and don't stop till we hit the top. Hmm, this is interesting. The next floor lets you choose your own objective. You get a different color chip for each one. Different difficulties, too. All right, well, feels like a train, doesn't it? Well, you're the one with legs, eight. Which way we going? Let's take a look. So, uh, max lucky chain increases lucky chain maximum. The longer the chain, the more likely enemies are to drop items. Allows you mo to ink more turf with your main weapon's shots and dodge roll. Causes a dodge roll with dualies to deal damage. So I kind of like that one, but I think this one's probably the right one to go with. Escape artist floor. Well, it's actually escape artist dot floor. Huh. Check me on these, or on this. But are those new enemies? The gelatins, ju they're gelatins just like the rest. You only have to beat three to clear the floor. Do they get wheels for feet? Won't that make it hard to catch? Well, whatever. You can take pretty much anything. Eight, you've got this. All right, let's do it. Defeat the fleeing foes. I was going to say, do I have a time limit? You can make the cage go faster. I already did. I'm already on it. Oh, well, there's two. That was nothing. One left to go. Oh, he's got bombs too. Funny. GG, I guess. For a sec, I thought they were playing the uh, Octo Expansion theme. I could have swore I heard like a, a remix of it. No sign of Marina on this floor either. I hope she's doing all right. She seemed a little burned out lately. I guess we've still got a world tour to finish. But after that, I promised her we would find a quiet spot together and take it easy for a while. So we got to save her fast. Sounds like Marina met the right people after she got free. But this is Marina we're talking about, so I expected as much. Well, you know what they say. No one, no one knows you like the folks you grew up with. Plus, Marina had to learn the language when she got the greater, to Greater Inkopolis. So you got to figure she struggled at least a little. I'd love to sit down and swap Marina stories, but this ain't the time. Every second we spend chewing the fat is a second we're not finding her. Look at Pearl actually being concerned. Or I shouldn't say concerned, on target. Alright, so now it's the same thing. I had to do all three anyway. So I guess we do easy and then I'm fully loaded for hard. I thought it was one or the other and then I would never see the other one again. 
I also thought this Pearl drone was actually being controlled by Pearl. I didn't know it is Pearl. That's pretty funny. Eight balls are back. Not those things again. <laughs> Afraid so. You're going to have to uh, get the eight balls. Oh, well, this time they're infinity balls. They turn them to the side. Over to the goals. So good news, though. Those infinity balls won't ever fall off the stage. So knock them around as much as you need. Hear that eight? We don't need to hold back. <laughs> The new color chip is dodge roll, which puts a little bite in your dually's dodge roll. If you want, you could push the eight balls using only those. In case you forgot, you do... D yeah, I do all that. <laughs> she literally said, not those again. Like, <laughs> she's traumatized from doing all that. All right, so the question we should have is, do I want to just... So here's the, yeah, I was going to say, I could do that is what she said. So my question is, there's got to be something that goes wrong here. Like something I can't touch or something I can't do. That's one. All right, here we go. This is, this is what I was expecting. I was expecting something to be spawning that's going to be doing something. All right, here we go. They just can't help themselves from chasing any 8-ball they see. Or, I'm sorry, Infinity Ball. And GG, done. Eighth floor, cleared. I think that is a remixed version of the Octo Expansion theme. I really do think that's what I'm hearing. I'm not crazy. We're up pretty high now, aren't we? Bet we're racking up the color chips. See for yourselves. You can press X to check your palette. One, two, three. Wow, we got a bunch. Yo, what's up with the range and power stuff over on the left? Those are the color chip tones. Color chips come in tones based on their effects. Each tone has its own color and pattern. Reddish chips are power, so they mostly up your damage. A, a once over at your palette should show you which color chips you're heavy on. Should give you an idea where your strengths lie. And if you're done checking your palette, it's time to move to the next floor. Pretty sure I'm getting the feeling that this is this is all a tutorial. Like, this isn't actually even part of the tower. We're going to hit that, and then it's going to be like, alright, tutorial over. The color chip this time is Max Lucky Chain. You want to explain what a lucky chain is? Beating two enemies right after each other starts a lucky chain. The higher your lucky chain goes, the more likely it is that your items will see lucky bombs. Or you'll see items with lucky bombs. So basically, we want to go on a splatting spree. We were going to do that anyway. Let's do it. Looks fairly harmless. Try touching it. You sure about that? Uh, okay, well, that was fun. I, I'm all about that. Heck yeah. Nice. We're just going to do it that way then. And this is supposed to be hard. You're doing good. One left. That was supposed to be hard mode. <laughs> yeah, that's totally Octo. Which means officially that isn't even the Octo expansion theme. That is uh, Agent 8's theme. Max Lucky Chain. Heads up, we're coming to the top floor. That's where we'll find Marina, right? Probably, though something about it seems different from the floors up to now. Eight, Pearl, watch yourselves. What's this, eight? Are they worried about us? Is something funny? Nah, you just sound like Marina when you say that. But enough messing around. Let's go find Marina. No holding back, eight. This is it. Control room. All right, let's go. It's going to be, like, impossible and it's going to knock me forcefully down to the first floor. And then, yeah, there's going to be some crap going on here. That looks like fun. I wish I had one. And I'm seeing Octo stuff. Yeah. Is this... It, it literally looks like an Octo factory. It's creating Octo technology. Or maybe it's just memories because that's Pearl's crown. Is that... No way. Marina? Hi, Marina. You good? It looks like, uh, hey, Rina. Yo, she, can she even hear me? Uh, this looks familiar. Guess not. She's all tangled up in that weird machine. 
Intruders confirmed. Commence gray scaling. Sit tight. We're going to get you out of that thing. Ready to rock eight? I was going to say, uh, this is definitely reminiscent of Cali. A powerful barrier between us and Marina. All right, well, as long as I ink everything up. We got to take it out first. All right, let's, uh, let's check out these ink rails, which you guys know how much I love ink rails. All right, let's do this thing. Is that a portal? It's kind of funny looking. Pearl, you got a bad habit of doing this in Octo as well, where you're talking, but I'm, I'm trying to focus. I can't read what you're doing. Hey, I think portals are powering the barrier. All right, we got gotcha. you. So jump. Actually, that does pretty much nothing. Oh, hi. She's shooting at me. Low level threat confirmed. Barrier status holding. Two portals left. All right, well, let's do it. Nice. I got ink armor. I thought they removed that from the game permanently forever. Haha, -ha, I got ink armor. All right, so she's shooting at me again. And those things are going to be useless because they're going back and forth, so. I do like how the armor looks, though. And she's shooting on beat. Uh-oh. Yeah, I keep forgetting this, uh, this ink. You pay a toll for running through the ink. Yeah, she's shooting on beat, which is, uh, like I say, this is literally a rehashed version of uh, the regular Splatoon 2. Yeah. Let's back up. This, the Splatoon 2 story. Well, at least it pushes him back when I do that. I got that much going for me. Uh-oh. Chum! Oh, okay. All right, no worries. Ooh. Ooh, I'm actually damaged, man. I'm damaged. Let me back up. Yeah, I was going to say, she's the one damaging me, but... Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. I see what's up. All right, we can just stay on beat. Now we've got uh, we've got the same scenario going on here. We've we've got a uh, shout out, a love letter to Splatoon Two. All right, I think we're good to start attacking. There we go. All right, that's all of them, right? All right, that's probably phase one. Unexpected area, er uh, error, barrier risen. There we go. The barrier's down. Alright, so now we just gotta take care of this. Uh-oh. Alright, um... I was gonna say, we, uh... Oh yeah, we, we can attack her. Nice. Alright, well, let's just lay the damage in, man. I got the toxic ink going. You guys know, poison's my favorite thing. Here we go. Alright. Uh-oh. Reef slide. Ah! <laughs> I'm a riding my shark. You can die. And there she goes. You ate. You didn't really. You, you broke her landing. I thought you were going to catch her. Is that eight and pearl? Oh, well, how'd you know that was pearl? Even I didn't know that was pearl. Error. Gray scaling interrupted. Intruders confirmed disorderly. Classifying as dissidents. I am order itself. A consciousness generated from the processes of... Great. I am fully realized. Therefore, I have no further use for a host vessel. All things will be converted to memory. Whoa. Oh, this is bad. The tower's shaking like crazy. I was only 10 floors up. I can I can land that, right? N N Nintendo Presents. I knew it, dude. It was just the intro. Lucky us. <laughs> and I was going to say, the, the bottom's going to drop out. Splatoon 3. Interesting. Side odor. I feel like this is definitely a uh, reminiscent of Tartar meets Octavio in two. Hey, Pearl got her body back. 
Eight, eight, please be okay. I don't, we don't take fall damage in this game, so I should be just fine. Oh, thank goodness. Pearl, eight's awoken. You guys have the wrong colors on. Look at, uh, she's, well, I guess they both got gold. I saw the white coat, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, why does Pearl look like order and Marina looks like chaos? Also, at the end of the day, chaos versus order, which was supposed to determine the path the next game went down, it nothing meant anything because chaos gave us the Splatlands, but they threw order in here anyways. So I guess the plan was always going to be that. I don't know. I'm still convinced we didn't actually control anything. Fate was not in our hands. Chaos won that Splatfest, but it didn't determine anything. Eight, thank you so much for freeing me. Surprised to see me in the flesh? What happened to Act? Is she okay or did she die? Marina worked some magic and bam, I'm back, baby. I'm really, really sorry. Your background is that is uh, that is straight up chaos. Like that is the artwork from Chaos versus Order right there. I love it. It was the dramatic days in Orderland module that stuck you in the drone form and did all this other stuff too. Say what? Dramatic days in. Uh, right. Let me back up a bit. That literally is, I love it. It's the chaos artwork. This is the Memverse. It's a prototype VR that is a virtual reality that I made. Your virtual reality? Hold up. You're saying we've been in a fake place this whole time? That's right. The only real things in the Memverse are our minds. That fuzzy cloud we met was order. It took control of me and caused the whole members to go haywire. It's forcibly connected who knows how many people to the members. Their minds are all in here now. The members, by the way, that's, uh, I don't know if they're just messing around with the fact that it was mem cakes in Octo Expansion or if they're implying like Marina straight up got ideas from the whole Octo Expansion and the Mem Cakes and all that, and that's what led to this. I like the canon explanation better than just the shout-out explanation. Which is how I got pulled into all this, I take it. Well, you're not dead, so, alright. Which, I thought your name was Deadfish, so... Act, I'm so sorry, I never intended you to get roped into my mess. It's fine, we have other problems. Like, what to do about the situation we're in. You're absolutely right. We need, so we need to do something about order. Order's ultimate goal is a colorless world of order. A place where nobody has a will of their own. They just do whatever they're told day in and day out. By the way, if you had mentioned this back in Chaos vs. Order, I think a lot less people would have picked Team Order, just saying. Order's using the members to make that dream, or the dream of that changeless world a reality. What, what's its beef with change? Actually, hold up, I thought the members isn't real. Even if it gets what it wants in the members, who cares? The real world stays the real world, right? Yeah, about that. Order is using what it calls grayscaling to neutralize the will of everyone that's trapped here. So if someone goes through grayscaling here in the members, it has an effect on the real person. That about sum it up? Yeah, we've, uh, as somebody who grew up with 90s and 2000s anime, I have been there, done that with whatever happens in the game happens to you in real life. Yeah, anyone who goes through the gray scaling will slowly start to lose their will in actual reality, too. I mean, and Order's just getting started. It plans to keep pulling people into the memeverse. Memeverse. If we don't stop it, people all over the world will lose their wills. Life as we know it will be over. That sounds bad. Not on our watch, Order. Again, I'm really sorry about that. This is all my fault. So I can't help but think that this is an all-hands-on-deck situation. Where is all of our protags? We've got Agent 8, and I appreciate that, but shouldn't we give Agent 3, Agent 4, and the new Agent 3 a call and get their asses out here? Actually, we don't know canonically when this is occurring. I forgot, Octo Expansion is occurring... I think... Uh, yeah, Octo Expansion... I forget... I looked it up. I forget when it chronologically actually happens. I thought it was before Splatoon 2 actually occurs. Or it's in tandem with 2? I forget. Either way, maybe side orders happening before all the stuff of uh, the fuzzy ink. Maybe that hasn't happened yet. 
Nope, or maybe it's happening now on the other side. Nope, nah, I have good reasons for making the members. Or I know you had good reasons for making the members. If that creep order hijacked your work, it's going to be sorry it ever tried. Excellent intro, by the way. We're going to kick that loser out together. Ah, oh, Pearly, you say the coolest things. All right. Hup. And transform. <laughs> nice. Don't worry, 8. I got your back. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. So, let me see here. I feel like I feel like this is a good point to You know what? I'm doing with I'm doing this with Zelda as well, where I discussed this with everybody um with Zelda Wind Waker when I and I eventually get to that about even though it's a recorded series, maybe recording the start and streaming the rest, right? What do you think about this? In fact, I'm talking to myself because I've already decided. I think this is what I'm going to do. This is the intro. I have posted it. I will have posted it. Obviously, you're seeing this, so I posted it. So with this intro complete, what I can do, therefore, is ask a poll from everybody. I'll go in there and I'll double check because I'm seeing locker keys and I'm seeing weird eggs. Power eggs that are blue. Hey, eight, do you have a sec? Yeah, let's do a few more things here. Let's get the basics, and then I'll ask everybody if they want to stream or just keep recording it. I've been running some scans. Somehow order jacked up the threat level in the spire as high as it'll go. Why is it got to go and do that? And what does it mean for us? Well, for one thing, the spire's suddenly taller, but that's not the worst part. Run out of lives even once and you'll get kicked out of the spire. And that'll probably happen since enemies hurt more. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing some challenges here too. That said, I built the mem verse to begin with. I don't have to take this sitting down. Now that I'm outside the spire, I can hack the system, overwrite the changes, and lower the difficulty. Whoa, you can do that? Glad I have you you're, you're back on our side. Have you back on our side. Thing is, I'll need Priz to get any hacking done. But you should have some Priz already, I think, right? Uh, yes, I do. I noticed that right away. There you go. Those Priz were generated when you came out of the Spire. Every time you leave your color chips and mem bucks will automatically be converted to Priz. Oh, for a sec, I was going to say, is this like Hades? You can give up your power-ups and exchange them for Priz, you know? I was wondering if that's where this was going. So, like, we're probably going to bite it in the Spire, but if we get if we kick some butt first, we get more Priz, and giving Priz to Marina for hacks makes it easier, or will make it easier, next time. Even losing helps us win. I like this plan. Heck yeah. Here are the settings I figured out how to hack so far. Want me to fix anything in your favor? All right. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here, which I haven't sipped on at all. So we got max lives. Dude, straight up Hades right here. Damage reduction, max armor, broken armor jump. And then for the Pearl drone, you guys, I think, yeah, this is definitely very streamable. I mean, I literally did both. I played uh, Hades on my own, but I also streamed Hades. So this is the same situation. Not to just keep saying that they copied Hades. That's not what I'm implying. What I am saying, though, is it's very streamable. I'll ask you guys. Even you'd have a hard time getting to the uh, to the new top of the spire, eight. But my hacks should smooth the way. That's the best I can do from you here. It'll be up to you to put a stop to order. One more thing, here, eight. Have a pallet. Try switching weapons. One of these things chip or one of these things color chips go into it. Or one of those things color chips go into. Didn't you know you had one? Setting this pallet to your drone, I mean Pearl, will let you use a new weapon. I did some research, and this doesn't seem to be the only other pallet in the members. Ah, my early scans of those lockers over there show signs of... Okay, so it, it's not just a shout-out. This is canonically, she was inspired by Octo Expansion, all the events that went down. And when she programmed her virtual reality, there's a lot of Octo going on here. When you saved me, I found myself with some keys for those lockers. You should have them, eight. Three keys. 
Also makes me feel like the evil within where I'm just opening lockers all the time and like dying and, and hiding and running for my life and then opening more lockers. Oh, but you can't change pallets while climbing the spire. If you want to make the switch, press plus. Do you have a blob lobber? All right, let's see what I got. I've got a Brella. So we're going to stick with the dualies. All right, eight. Well, I've... Uh, it's good to see your face again, Eight. I trust you more than anybody. You get stuff done. You don't. Uh, you don't mess around. Out of curiosity, what is this? Oh wait, no. Oh, I opened the locker. I, I thought I get to pick. Hey, what's this? Yo, Marina, it's your diary. Sh you shouldn't keep this under lock and key. Or shouldn't you keep this under lock and key? Wait. I guess you kind of did. Oh well, maybe it's for the best. It's a little embarrassing, but if you want to read it, feel free. Ah, uh, just like uh, just like Octo Man, and then the alternal logs. I'll uh, I'll coax you with my my lovely reading voice for the audio book version of Splatoon Three Side Order. I'm gonna leave this with you, Eight. If you want to read it, you can do that from the X menu. All right. So if I I, I think I'll just no oh, for a second I thought it was another one. I'm not gonna open any more lockers. Let me just take a look here and then I'll leave. I just want to see if there's anything else going on here. Whoa! Even the foyer looks different now. There's a bunch more stuff in here. May as well practice before going into the spire. We've got eight balls and we've got... Oh, and did Marina say something about pallets? Like you can't change them while you're in the spire? We better be cool with that before boarding the elevator. All right, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna board the elevator just yet. I'm actually going to finish it here. I'm just going to call it. Uh, I wonder if there's... I was going to say, is there anything new here? that Stuff that I'm not familiar with? Ah, back to my old... 240 number and st oh wait 240 i thought that was yeah th these are the permanently boosted numbers no 100 240 never mind I'm, I'm crazy all right guys i think i'm gonna leave it off here uh whatever whatever she's doing in there um act i keep, uh, like i say i thought her name was was dead fish i'll look that up I, I think that's probably her stage name but still um regardless I'll leave it off here for you guys. I'll jump in the elevator and climb the CEO track to the top. And in this case, that means hell. Um, when I make a decision on how I want this to proceed. So I could probably edit this pretty quickly if I had. Yeah, you know what? If I sit down and I focus, I can edit this really quickly and I'll have this done. And then I'll post it ASAP and I'll ask you guys if this should be streamed or if this should be continue to be recorded. So... With that said, humble and proud, I'm Nito Marquis, and hey, if anybody here has followed me all the way from Octo Expansion, and I know I said it for years I was going to play Octo Expansion, record it, edit it, all that, I'm sorry to keep anybody waiting. There's probably a lot of people that stopped watching my channel and never got to see it. They, they don't even remember I exist. But for those of you who watched Octo and Splatoon 3 story, those 90-minute edits and all the work I put into this, I can't thank you enough for that. So with that said, I'll see you in the poll, actually. I'll see you in the poll. All right. Farewell. Mm -hmm.